Hello there Capricorn. Welcome back for another tarot reading. Today it's about your person. What does your person think of you Capricorn? This is a general reading so it may or may not resonate with you Capricorn. Just take the part that fits and discard the rest because it only means that this is not the reading for you at this time Capricorn. So we're pulling your person's energy. What do they think about Capricorn here? Capricorn, what does your person think of you Capricorn? Ooh, they think you the boss. You the boss of bosses. <laughs> Got the king of pentacles. You have the four of pentacles. You have the hermit. You have the three of cups. You have the five of pentacles. Ooh, there you go Capricorn. You have the devil. You have Eight of Cups. You have Five of Wands. And you have King of Cups here. And underneath the bottom of the deck, Capricorn, you have the Ten of Wands here. Okay, Capricorn. So first off, Capricorn, your person looks at you like you're very stable and abundant. You can make it happen. You're a boss. You make the money. You bring stability. You, you, you like to stunt. You got them coins, Capricorn. That's what your person looks upon you as. Now, underneath, um, because this is, this is your energy, Capricorn, uh, Taurus and Virgo, King of Pentacles. You're about earthly things. You're very traditional. You get things done. You bring stability and security to any relationship. You are a boss. So underneath this King of Pentacles, you have the Three of Cups here. This is water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces energy. This is um, renewal. This is celebration. This is how they look at you, celebrating here. Um, they feel like you always like to kick it. You got the money to kick it. You always show people a good time. Uh, but I feel like your person looks upon you as a boss and they want to go out and kick it with you or they want to have a good time and they may even want to renew a connection with you. But underneath this three of cups, we have the eight of cups here. This is more water energy, Scorpio cancer and Pisces energy. But I feel like you've walked away from your emotions from this person, from this connection. You've walked away from this connection, uh, Capricorn. So next to your King of Pentacles, you have the Four of Pentacles. This is your energy, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos here. I feel like you're keeping something close to your chest here. You're keeping your 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 stability and, and your things to yourself, and you're not sharing anything. Because underneath this Four of Pentacles, we have the Five of Pentacles here. Where you're leaving someone out in the cold. You're leaving your person out in the cold here, Capricorn, and your person knows it. It's like you bring abundance and financial uh, security to this person, but I feel like you're holding that shit back from them in this Four of Pentacles and you're not sharing anything with them anymore. That's why you walked away from with this Eight of Cups here. So it's le leaving your person without, your person don't know what the hell they're going to do. They, they can't pay their bills. They feel like they don't know what to do financially because you're no longer investing in them. So underneath this Five of Pentacles, you have the Five of, of Wands here. This is fire energy here. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy here. So this person here is very confused. This person is very confrontational. This person brings confusion and fussing and fighting with this, with this person here. This is the energy that they're in because you have taken back your energy from them. You're no longer financially invested in them. So I feel like they're petty now. I feel like they feel like they they have competition, and I feel like they're they're in this uh, retaliation energy. They you know they they're all over the place because you you're no longer investing in them financially. You're not giving gifts to them like you used to. So I feel like this person is is now turning on you. <laughs> this person is is agitated with you. This person is bringing confusion to, to you now. So next to your four pentacles, Capricorn, we have the Hermit card. You could be dealing with the Virgo here. I feel like there's been some introspection here. Introspection going within to figure out what to do. This is your person here. Your person don't know what to do because if you look at this person holding this light, they're holding this light up next to this four of pentacles. They're trying to figure out why are you holding back from them? Why aren't you investing in them? They feel like you got other, you got somebody else. Um, they got competition. 
because you're not giving to them anymore. You left them out. So they got the light shining over you trying to figure out what you're doing with them pentacles. You're not giving it to me. Now, underneath their hermit card is you, Capricorn, the devil energy. This person is codependent on your kindness, Capricorn. This person, I feel like this person is codependent on your generosity, Capricorn. This person don't know what to do because it's like when you walked away from this person, it's like they ain't even try to hold it together. They just like, fuck it, you know, Capricorn gone. What the hell am I going to do? So this person, instead of them getting out, getting their own money, they introspect and trying to figure out why you're not giving them money and so on into them anymore because this person is addicted to you. You're kind as this person's codependent. This person could even have other addictions, uh, which makes them so dependent on your finances and your resources here. So underneath the devil card, we have the king of cups here. I feel like this person, or it could be you and this King of Cups energy, but I feel like this is this person here. This person has love for you, or this person loves what you do for them. But I feel like this person wasn't showing you affection like that because this person was about the pentacles. This person was about what you did for them. So I feel like even if this person did have some type of love for you, it was a misguided love. It was a false love because it was based on what you did for them. They were, they're codependent on your generosity. So they love what you do for them, but I don't feel like they love you. They love what you brought to their life. You brought abundance and stability for them. You always kicking it. You always picking up the tab. You always doing the right thing for them. You're a boss. You make sure the home is taken care of. But I feel like you don't want that anymore, Capricorn. That's why you're in this eight of cups where you're walking away from your emotions from this person. And I feel like you're making head over heart decisions with this person. This person is addicted to your generosity here. So... Like I said, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Wands. You're releasing this burden. This person became a burden to you, Capricorn, because they didn't want to get out and get their own shit. They wanted Capricorn to do it all. They were codependent on your generosity. And I feel like they may have loved you, but it was an off kind of love. It was They, they loved what you did for them. So I feel like ultimately, Capricorn, you're going to release them, and you're going to continue uh, doing what you're doing, but you're not going to do it with them. So Capricorn, this has been your reading for What Does Your Person Think of You? If this video resonates with you, Capricorn, please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment, and I will talk to you on the next video. Bye.